Hey there, future nurse. Now, I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I bet you'll like this video. And if you do, be sure to head to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube for way more content than you can get here. And you can sign up for free. Hey, nursing students. In this video, we'll be exploring the world of medical prefixes, which are essential building blocks for understanding medical terminology. Starting off with a simple question here. What the heck is a prefix? Well, a prefix is simply a word part that's added to the beginning of a root word to modify or even change its meaning. Prefixes can provide valuable information about the location, the number, the size, or other characteristics related to the root word. Now, let's talk about some common prefixes and really what they mean. Cardio or cardi, not cardi B, or So cardio simply means related to the heart. For example, a cardiologist, which is a doctor or a provider which specializes in the heart. Gastro, on the other hand, means relating to the stomach. An example is gastritis, which is simply inflammation of the stomach lining. Hemo, hemato, or simply hemat, means relating to blood. An example of this prefix is hematology, simply meaning the study of blood. Hyper means excessive or increased. An example here is the word hypertension, which means high blood pressure. Hypo, on the other hand, means a deficit or decreased. The example here is hypoglycemia, simply meaning low blood sugar inside the blood. Neuro means relating to the nervous system. So you can see this prefix in the example of neurology, which is the study of the nervous system. Now, oxy, which you guessed it, means relating to oxygen. The word hypoxia includes two examples that we've seen. This is a state where we have low levels of oxygen inside the body. Now, path or patho means relating to the disease or abnormality. That's why in nursing school, we study pathology, which is simply the study of diseases. Next is peri, which refers to around or surrounding. So an example here is perinatal, which means around the time of birth. Lastly, we have pulmo or pneumo, which simply means relating to the lungs. An example is a pulmonologist, which is a doctor or a provider that specializes in the lungs. So now that you know some basic prefix examples, let's, let's see, see these prefixes, prefixes in action, action with, with more, more examples, examples and explanations, and explanations to, reinforce to reinforce your learning. learning. First up is cardiomyopathy. This word combines the prefix cardio, relating to the heart, with the root myo, meaning muscle, and the suffix pathy meaning disease. So putting it all together, it refers to the disease affecting the heart muscle with cardiomyopathy. How about hyperthermia? Well, the prefix is hyper, basically excessive. It's combined with the root therm, which means heat. So this term describes abnormally high body temperature with hyperthermia. Next is neuropathy. The prefix is neuro, relating to the nervous system combining with the root word of path, which means disease. So neuropathy simply means a disease or dysfunction of the nervous system. The last example here is oxytocin. As we learned earlier, the prefix oxy relates to oxygen and the root tos or talk means childbirth. So oxytocin is a hormone that plays a critical role in facilitating childbirth. Now you can see that mastering prefixes is the first step in decoding the intricate language of medical terminology. So keep practicing and you'll become fluent in this essential aspect of nursing education. All right, that's it for today's lesson on prefixes. Stay tuned for more videos on medical terminology and don't forget to click the link in the description below for way more helpful nursing content, including our colorful study guides that simplify these long medical terms with a bunch of easy to remember memory tricks. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you there.